Boys and Crush, welcome back to the channel. We are here playing a little bit of Destiny 2. I am thoroughly enjoying this Graviton Lance. This thing is fucking awesome. Laura, the witnesses of abominations. Careful. This character. Sign of Ikora or her ghost. Nothing yet. ship maybe she found something maybe so but going it alone isn't worth the risk i learned that the hard way luckily she's got the two sharpest hunters in the system to back her up oh yeah and when do they get here to that shield creates concentrated light you can use it to power those wells where light rises Darkness recedes. It sounds like you've been reading Ikora's field journals. I always try to learn from the best. Hive ahead. Eyes up. Zebu Arath's followers again. Of course they'd answer the witness's call. Well, I'm glad somebody's been paying attention. Me, I see three glowing green eyes. I open fire. And then apologize to Eris later.
like just playing these games for the day. As in, I forgot this shit already. Using both light and dark energy is what brought down that barrier. Mara often <laughs> spoke of the balance <laughs> of light and dark. We awoken, were made in conflict. Our okay. connection to darkness is as ingrained as our connection to light. Not all guardians are awoken, but it does feel like we all share that conflict. This is definitely Ikora's ship. Let's take a closer look. Commander, Guardian, I hope you are both safe and that you found Crow. I haven't been able to raise you on calm, so I cannot be certain. You know I am not one to be moved without evidence. How did you put it, Zavala? Scientific obstinance. But there is an uncanny sanctity to this place. I feel an impulse. I seek to commune with the Traveler myself. I sense if I reach out, that it will reach back. If not here, where? Find me. I'll be at the Cradle. It's just how I remember it. Stay sharp. I'm picking up a reading very similar to something Crow and oh. I ran into shortly after we arrived. What, another charming gunslinger with roguish good looks? A high vulgar. But it definitely has your humility. Red. Really? Really? Fuck. 
see uh, see uh, stupid shit happen now. <laughs> Really, game? All of a sudden, you just start that. Ugh. Really, game? Why are you still spawning me down here? It's resisting all damage. We need to find a way to break its immunity. Well, if the game would stop being gay, that'd be really nice. Thank you. Creating a path forward. How about this one? Guardian, I'm sensing a surge in power in both light and dark. Hey, when we find Ikora, if she's. Ikora's strong. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, that's good. Great. Um, but not really what I'm worried about. For what? 
I was gonna ask if you think she's still mad at me. Well, I made a promise, then I broke it. That's weird. I died. <coughs> Get ready, Guardian. The witnesses' forces are heading your way. Found Ikora. Thanks. She's deep in meditation. If Ikora zend out, she might actually get some answers from the traveler. Zenda? Thank you, Guardian. I'm not over there. I thought that maybe here, maybe the traveler might give me some sort of guidance, as it once did for the speaker. I closed my eyes and I opened my heart and mind. I think I heard it. Screaming. So did we, when we came through the portal. This place. We know. The witness infecting the Traveler. Darkness combined with light. I wish Osiris could see it. He was always ready with a hypothesis. But here's mine. Let's hear it. The witness brought darkness into the Traveler. Everything you see here inside it is a physical manifestation of a thought made real by the light. Your thoughts. Mine. The witnesses. It plans to weaponize that light. Reshaping reality outside the Traveler into a perfect stillness. A great silence. Never changing. Never dying. Imagine your greatest triumph. Or your most profound regret. Immortalized as a part of a universe where nothing exists except by the Witness's consent. It chooses what your eternity will be, and imprisons you safely inside it. This is its promised salvation. This is the final shape. The Witness sees itself as the god it wishes the Traveler was. And although the Traveler resists the Witness's corruption, it and everything we know will eventually succumb. I always warn Zavala not to put all his faith in the Traveler. To save some for the rest of us. But maybe faith in the Traveler is exactly what we need. If light is powerful enough to destroy the universe, then light is powerful enough to destroy the Witness. Come back safe. 
come back so Bye. God, I hate running some of these. <coughs> so, is there anyone else with you? Not Commander Zavala, I assume. This isn't quite up to his standards. Hey. I did my best, all right? Given the circumstances, I think Big Blue will forgive me. Will you? No. It's too much. It's just too much. It's one thing for the witness to look in our hearts and minds, to conjure up our memories, but this... Hey, Cora, come on, look at me. I see you. I know this is hard. It's tough for me, too. Tough? What do you know about tough? You are always running off to play renegade, leaving me and Zavala to shoulder all the responsibility when... <laughs> when we were supposed to be a team. I know. I'm gonna make it up to you. Get ahead of yourself. You still have a lot to make up. Well then, we better get started. Ikora has always had a strong connection to the Traveler. I think that's why she's so confident. Thank you guys for coming by. I shall see you guys in the next one.